I am struggling to express in words just how significant of a discovery this is. What has just been announced in relation to the pyramids at the Giza Plateau and the plateau itself is so incredible, so awe-inspiring and narrative shattering that I have been sitting here for the last hour trying to wrap my head around the implications of what we were just told. So this is pretty much breaking news because the new findings were announced on the 16th of March at a press conference held by the team who were studying the Great Pyramid of Giza with a non-invasive technology that was first developed by uh, Filippo Bionde and Corrado Malanga called Synthetic Aperture Radar Doppler Tomography. So this was used to explore the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. And this method leverages the analysis of micro movements typically generated by background seismic activity to achieve a high resolution, full 3D tomographic imagery of the pyramid's interior and subsurface components. The recent findings from deploying this technology are nothing short of mind-blowing. Because what's been discovered is that there are huge structures coming down from the base of the pyramid deep into the bedrock, in fact over 600 meters deep, which then connects to structures that extend up to two kilometers below the surface of the ground. Two kilometers, massive internal structures connected to the base of the pyramid and extending deep deep down. This is what we know so far. Utilizing high-resolution radar images from Capella Space and Umbra, which are two private companies that specialize in satellite-based synthetic aperture radar imaging, this has allowed researchers to create a 3D model of the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now, this model has revealed a previously unknown chamber with five horizontal levels, and a sloping roof, which in of itself is an architectural design unlike any previously documented in the Giza Pyramid. But the most shocking discovery lies beneath the surface. Below ground level, radar tomography has identified vertical cylindrical structures extending for hundreds of meters beneath the pyramid. There are eight of these cylindrical wells arranged in two parallel rows descending to an astonishing depth of 648 meters. Even more intriguing, at the base of these structures are two massive cubic formations measuring approximately 80 meters in diameter. The tomographic data suggests that these are vertical wells with intricate spiral pathways. Now this design not only implies a functional purpose, but also a level of sophisticated engineering that completely blows the dynastic Egyptian model out of the water. I mean, the pyramid itself was already a massive red flag in the ancient Egyptian historical narrative. But now, with this discovery, I think it's become impossible to say that the Egyptian civilizations that we understand, that we've been taught about, were responsible for building these structures. And it doesn't even end there. The radar analysis extends beneath the entire Giza plateau, revealing interconnected structures beneath not only the Great Pyramid of Giza, but also those of Khufu and Menkar. The subsurface network reaches down to a staggering depth of approximately two kilometers. Two kilometers. This is not possible, given the standard historical and archaeological narrative given to us about ancient Egypt. Now, I'm hearing that there is more to come. There is a four-hour presentation that's going to be released by the research team. This is what I'm hearing. That's going to go into every detail of their findings. This has essentially been a strategic release of incredible data ahead of time to get people interested. And I am more interested in this than basically anything else right now, because this is by far the most provocative piece of evidence for not only a potential technological explanation for the purpose of the Giza complex, but it also provides the most extraordinary evidence for a pre-flood era civilization that was flourishing in a way that we can scarcely comprehend. It's also possible that this spiraling cylindrical series of structures are staircases, and I can't help but think of the channeled writings of Thoth the Atlantean.
you know, the, the emerald tablets. Speaking of a lost hall of records, a sacred hall of knowledge below the Giza Plateau, the halls of Amenti. Could this be the lost hall of records from the pre-flood era? Now, obviously, this discovery is extremely controversial. It runs as a complete contradiction of the established narratives and status quo in mainstream academia on these issues. This will cause big waves throughout the academic and the wider world if they can fully evidence these findings. But the results so far seem pretty clear. There is obviously significant structural engineering taking place deep below the pyramids and the Giza Plateau in general. Has this changed your mind on the pyramids? Has this strengthened your position on what they might have been? Has this new discovery given you any new ideas about what the implications are? Let me know in the comment section below. And honestly, everyone, share this far and wide. This is such interesting stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll just have to see where this goes because rest assured, I'll be keeping a very close eye on any coming announcements and updates on this issue. This plays directly into one of my main interests, which is, of course, prehistorical civilizational implications. What was going on before the global cataclysm? Well, I think moments like this could shed light on that question. What a time to be alive. Press release. Giza. Discovery of an underground city. The legendary Amenti. Good evening and welcome to Expedition, the official channel of the Kafra project. This is announcement number two, and as the head of communications for the research project, I will now read to you the official press release of the Kafra project, which has just been distributed to both Italian and international media. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great enthusiasm that we officially announce today an our research team has succeeded in identifying a vast underground city beneath the Giza Plateau, which corresponds to the legendary Amenti. This city is mentioned in ancient texts as a place linked to the universal knowledge of humankind and its ultimate spiritual transformation. This extraordinary achievement has been made possible through the processing of SAR data obtained from Capella Space satellites. A pioneering technological approach to archaeology. The uniqueness of this discovery lies not only in its immense historical and archaeological significance, but also in the innovative method employed. Thanks to ultra-high azimuth resolution radar imaging achieved through specialized spotlight acquisitions with long Doppler integration, we have been able to extract precise acoustic information. In particular, the satellite data has been processed using a groundbreaking technique. Doppler tomography, developed by Professor Filippo Biondi, an internationally renowned expert in synthetic aperture radar, interferometry, and multichromatic tomographic analysis. This patented methodology enables the creation of three-dimensional reconstructions of underground structures, allowing the identification of corridors, chambers, and tunnels extending several kilometers beneath the surface. These new archaeological findings could redefine our understanding of the sacred topography of ancient Egypt, providing spatial coordinates for previously unknown and unexplored subterranean structures. The research team. A discovery of this magnitude has only been possible thanks to the contributions of a multidisciplinary team of internationally renowned experts. Dr. Nicole Ciccolo a forensic handwriting expert with over 25 years of experience in civil and criminal investigations. She has worked with numerous Italian prosecutors and authored significant forensic analyses. Her expertise in deciphering ancient manuscripts has been crucial in interpreting certain symbols identified at the site. Professor Filippo Biondi, a specialist in radar technology and satellite imaging, with experience at the University of Strathclyde, UK, the Italian Space Agency, and the National Research Council. He is currently one of the world's leading experts in the development of SAR processing algorithms with applications in space archaeology. Dr. Armando May, a historian and Egyptologist specializing in the study of pre-dynastic civilizations. He has conducted archaeological field research in Egypt and collaborated with numerous international academic institutions. His theories on the correlation between underground structures and the myth of Zep Tepi have guided the team's investigations. Professor Corrado Malanga, head of the research project, a chemist and former researcher at the University of Pisa, 
with a long-standing career in the study of consciousness and the phenomena related to perception of reality. His expertise has enabled the development of new interpretative models for analyzing the discovered structures. In the support of Capella Space, a new frontier for archaeology, this demonstrates how the integration of space technology and historical research can overcome the limitations of traditional archaeological investigations, allowing us to map the subsurface of Giza without invasive excavations. Capella Space's SAR satellites, capable of producing radar images with centimeter-level resolution, have made it possible to generate highly precise acoustic images of Giza's underground, finally revealing to humanity the existence of the Halls of Amenti. Project Presentation Events To provide an in-depth look at this extraordinary discovery, the Kafir Research Project SR Technology has organized two exclusive conferences, both to be held at the Hotel Castello Artemide Congressi, Viale Terme 1010-B, 40024 Castel San Pietro Terme B.O., Italy. March 15, 2025. Seats still available. A press conference for accredited journalists only, which will be held both in person and remotely. All relevant documentation for journalists can be found via the link in the description of this video. March 16, 2025. Event sold out. The official technical conference, featuring the research team, where the findings and Doppler tomography imaging will be presented for the first time. The overwhelming interest from the public has led to a sold-out event within days. The future of the project. In the coming months, the Koffer Research Project SAR Technology will continue working persistently on new tomographic analyses and three-dimensional models of the underground structures, aiming to finally produce a complete and precise map of what lies beneath the Giza Plateau. The research is set to continue throughout 2025, with all updates shared through official documentation and scientific publications, available upon request to scholars and enthusiasts via a dedicated repository. This discovery marks a groundbreaking step in our understanding of ancient Egypt and its deep infrastructural relationship with the subterranean world. It could lead to unprecedented revelations about the civilization that built the entire architectural complex, including the pyramids, which now appear to be just the tip of the iceberg of a colossal and hidden project. Thank you for your attention.